Boeing, and more recently, Airbus have dominated the commercial aircraft industry for what seems like forever. However, it appears that a very new Chinese aerospace business may be luring for their position. Comac is becoming a major player in the aviation industry with its C929 series of wide-body planes, which airlines may soon be choosing for. The Comac C929, a new aircraft emerging from the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, or Comac in short, has garnered attention in the aviation industry, posing a significant challenge to established players like Airbus and Boeing, because Comac, a huge advantage compared to these aviation giants. But to understand, we need to delve into Comac's background. Comac, formed in 2008 through the collaboration of various Chinese aerospace entities, set out with the ambitious goal of designing and manufacturing large civilian aircraft. Their initial venture, the ARJ-21 regional jet, took flight in 2008 and entered into service in 2016, albeit with a modest seating capacity of up to 105 passengers. Despite encountering delays and challenges during development, Comac persisted in its pursuit of innovation. Fast forward to today, Comac has turned its focus towards the C929, formerly titled the Comac Crack CR929, a wide-body airliner initiated in 2011. In 2017, the aircraft's first design was unveiled as part of the 50-50 joint venture between the Russian United Aircraft Corporation and the Chinese Comac. At first, the two sides appeared to get along well, but in 2020, conflicts started to surface. But that didn't stop the joint venture to start the construction of the C929 prototype in September 2021 after facing several delays in its design phase. However, due to sanctions, Russia left the alliance in 2023, leaving Comac to finish the project by itself. But this could actually turn out to be a good thing for them. As the project moves into the detailed design stage, Comac appears to have made some headway at last. With the booming growth of China's aviation industry, projected to become the world's largest by the mid to late 2030s, Comac aims to leverage this flourishing sector with ambitions to capture a significant portion of the global narrow-body aircraft market. The significance of the C929 lies not only in its potential to rival established aircraft manufacturers, but also in its innovative features. Designed with fuel efficiency and environmental sustainability in mind, the C929 incorporates modern technologies to enhance safety and passenger comfort. Comac has set ambitious goals, aiming to produce larger aircraft capable of competing with rivals worldwide. This ambition is evident in the design and specifications of the C929, positioning it as a strong contender for single-aisle travel in the global aviation market. However, transitioning from the domestic market to the global arena requires more than just specifications. It demands a comprehensive understanding of the complexities and nuances of international competition. Nevertheless, specifications remain a crucial aspect of competitiveness. It's intriguing to contemplate how the C929 would fare against its closest competitors from Airbus and Boeing, the Airbus A350 and the Boeing 787. Comac has set its sights on challenging these aviation giants in what promises to be an epic showdown in the industry. The C929 represents Comac's first step into this arena, providing valuable insights into their future prospects. The anticipated wide body capacity from China is comparable to that of current Airbus and Boeing models. According to the Comex C929 program, the aircraft has a capacity of 250 to 350 people. The range will be determined by the airline's specified cabin class arrangement. The baseline proposed C929's passenger capacity should be around the same when compared to the basic Airbus A350-900 and Boeing 787-8 versions. The C929 is a wide body made in China. Financial considerations play a crucial role in the aviation industry, particularly concerning aircraft pricing. Although Comac hasn't officially disclosed the pricing for their aircraft, their pricing has been historically competitive. At the time of release, a single C929 costs just around $99 million, compared to the $111 million list price for the A320neo and $121 million for the 737 MAX 8. The C919 was comparatively affordable, making it an attractive option for airlines and flight operators. It's worth noting that operators typically negotiate prices below the list price. In terms of passenger capacity, the C929 can accommodate approximately 250 passengers in a single class configuration with a maximum capacity of 350 passengers. According to Comac, three variants will be available for the wide body, the C929-500, 600, and 700. Under normal circumstances, the basic C929-500 can carry 250 people in three classes. With its minor elongation, the C929-600 
can accommodate up to 280 passengers in seats. Airlines select the arrangement according to their operations, even though the departure limit will be somewhat higher, about 440 people. Comparatively, the Boeing 787-8 boasts a capacity of 242 passengers and a maximum of 360, while the Airbus A350-900 can accommodate up to 312 passengers in a single-class configuration, with a maximum capacity exceeding 400. A somewhat longer airplane, the Airbus A350 can carry more people than the shortest Boeing 787 model, which can only hold an equal number. The Comac acknowledged that these figures are merely approximations. However, when the exact design is finished, the real capacity, depending on the weight of the aircraft, will be known. The stage is about to be set for a clash of aviation titans unlike any seen before. When considering range, the C929 offers an extended range of around 6,500 nautical miles. However, it falls short of the 7,350 nautical mile benchmark of the Boeing 787-8 and also lags behind the 8,300 nautical mile range of the A350-900. This discrepancy may be attributed to the C929's smaller fuel tanks, a factor that operators must carefully consider in their decision-making process. Comac faces substantial challenges in competing with industry giants like Airbus and Boeing, who possess extensive experience, established reputations, and loyal customer bases. Convincing airlines to invest in the C929 amid stiff competition will require significant effort and persuasion. In terms of specifications, while the C9 to the 9th of may not steal the spotlight entirely, it possesses sufficient capabilities to emerge as a formidable competitor. However, merely boasting impressive specs on paper won't guarantee the success of the C929. It faces numerous challenges and hurdles along its path to market dominance. Ideally, Comac would envision a future where they dominate a significant significant portion of the global aviation market. At the moment, though, the reality is far from ideal, and they must confront various obstacles to achieve this goal. One major challenge is the pace of production. While China is renowned as a manufacturing powerhouse, they still face limitations in mass-producing aircraft due to the complexities involved in sourcing key components and avionics from foreign manufacturers. Delays stemming from multiple suppliers exacerbate this issue. Additionally, geopolitical tensions between China and Western countries further complicate matters, creating a precarious situation for Comac's ambitions. This situation arises due to the risk that a country responsible for manufacturing a crucial component may impose sanctions on China, halting production of that component for Comac. For instance, there was a past instance where the U.S. government contemplated blocking a deal with General Electric for the engines of the C919. Although the issue was resolved in 2020, there remains the possibility of similar occurrences in the future. Another challenge facing the C929 is the limited certifications it currently holds. Presently, it only possesses certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China, which is China-based. Geopolitical tensions may complicate the certification process in major markets such as the United States and Europe, potentially confining its operations to local flights. Furthermore, airlines might be hesitant to order C929S due to Comac's substantial backlog of over 1,500 C919 orders just late last year. Despite plans to increase production to 150 aircraft per year, it could take nearly a decade to fulfill new orders, contrasting sharply with Airbus, which manufactures approximately 65 A320s per month. Additionally, there's a safety risk associated with sourcing parts from numerous manufacturers. This increases the likelihood of inconsistencies or quality control issues, such as parts being substituted due to unavailability. These challenges loom large, yet with China's unwavering determination, growing local demand, and ample resources, there are numerous avenues to explore. While these challenges are daunting, they are not insurmountable. However, they do pose significant obstacles for Comac and the C929 in their quest to disrupt the duopoly held by Airbus and Boeing. To overcome this, Comac has explored the possibility of partnering with a manufacturing company to streamline production in the past. One potential partner is the Brazilian aircraft manufacturer Embraer, which presented a potential win-win situation for both parties. A potential partnership between Comac and Embraer would have involved Comac acquiring a majority stake in Embraer, granting access to their manufacturing capacity. This opportunity arose as Embraer was burdened with debt following the commercial failure of their E2 jet. Hence, 
Such a deal presented a chance for Embraer to alleviate its debts while allowing Comac to leverage Embraer's facilities and technological expertise for mass producing the C929, an advantageous move to address two challenges simultaneously. However, there was a caveat. Despite being a private entity, the Brazilian government holds veto power in deals involving foreign nations, potentially complicating matters due to geopolitical tensions between the West and China. Obtaining government approval proved challenging. Additionally, passenger sentiment posed the challenge, especially considering Embraer's involvement in defense solutions and aircraft manufacturing for Western countries, coupled with China's history of security concerns. Nevertheless, the Western market isn't the sole target for the C929. While Ryanair has expressed support, the initial focus might be on penetrating Middle Eastern or African markets. According to Comac's prediction, the Wide Body Project is projected to be operational by 2026 or 2027. However, the competition remains stiff with Airbus and Boeing dominating the global aviation landscape. Despite plans to enhance C929 production, COMAX still faces challenges in competing with Boeing and Airbus on both domestic and global fronts. Even Chinese Eastern, its primary customer, maintains a substantial fleet of Boeing aircraft. Nonetheless, the Chinese domestic market holds promise, particularly with state support, potentially serving as a springboard for breaking the Boeing Airbus duopoly in the future. Considering the hurdles encountered by its competitors, there exists a genuine opportunity for Comac to succeed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.